realistic drawing classes from Los Angeles. I believe the best way to get better with this or, or anything else is simply simply practice. Check out the uh, the details in the drawing. Let's see all this black here. Should have kept that here. Make sure you have a real sharp point. When it comes to something like this, I also like listening to. Uh, relaxing music because this takes a minute to, to put all these hairs in there. And, uh, be patient when you're creating stuff, trying stuff that's detailed because um, oh yeah. if you're doing this for homework or for for sales or capitalism, you have to sell it or for a grade. People can't tell if you've uh, took your time or not. You gotta believe that your gold is worth it, whether it's a grade or trying to get a contract or a job somewhere. Let the uh, work speak for itself. You know what? What do you want to be known for? The guy that uh, takes his time. When doing something that has his uh, name on it, his reputation, his or her reputation. You want to be known as that person that just gets gets it done fast. Keep your uh, reference close by too. So you don't lose that. And the information. careful with the light source too because it's a little tricky around um, this time where you have your light source from the outside and the light source from my phone You could always go from lighter to dark. So don't be concerned about uh, using dark tones right away. And uh, I am 
using my best judgment to my best uh, training so far to get as close as possible to the uh, to the detail and uh, the reference photo that I'm using. And I know if I really, really pick at it, that's going to be off. And uh, I'll accept that and I'll keep on going. But I'll try to give it a justice. I also think you should... Uh, the reason I chose this photo is because it doesn't look uh, straight out like uh, uh, tasteless. It looks like uh, you know, this chick has a real like a seductive look, sexual. I think there's a there's a lot of um, art out there that plays it same. Ton of it. If you look at museums where. There are naked bodies and they're drawn elegantly. Then there are other people that just straight out uh, create something that I think is, uh, I think they try to have a, some sort of like, I think shock value, but it's not, I don't think the human body is shocking. There's ways to present it to where you can see its, uh, its ability to either create, to empower, to uh, motivate, inspire, to lust for, to love. I heard uh, Tony Robbins was saying something like, uh, that humans are meant not to love but to survive and I really really like that because I think we, there's so many people that use that word um, so loosely I love uh, pistachio flavored ice cream I love this song I love this movie and I think when we start overusing words like that. Um, we forget to, uh, to overlook that experience that man that uh, what's the word? I'm really lost for words now. Takes the flavor out of the steak. And what the hell does that mean? Well, there's some. You know, there's times where I'm hungry, or where I've starved my body for hours, and I can eat some nasty ass, um, nasty ass corn dog, which it really it makes me puke if um, if I smell it while I'm sober and with a full stomach. In that case, where I've been so hungry that I've eaten one.
I think regardless of taste, I'll just consume it. As long as it's a protein and carbs. Now if I could enjoy a meal like a, like a steak. That's well done. Or again, my friend's famous uh, barbecue ribs. Man, that I was thinking so much about food right now that I actually lost my point. Talking about speaking about reference points, the photos you choose to start working on. And yeah, choose something that you wouldn't mind looking at for hours or working with. Like this, this thing has uh, um, being a dude. It's, it's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And, and this this pose that she has, it just taps into that uh, my animal factor. That what I think it's called. What, Something is called a reptilian brain. Simple caveman mind. Or you want to just uh, bang on the head and reproduce. I think Carl's Jr. does good, and, and in and out does good on their on the photos of their burgers, because it makes me, if I'm hungry, does get me in the mood to go get one. I think your art subject could be like that, it should be as powerful as that. Even this song without any lyrics, it, I think it gives him some emotion. Yeah, choose a pick something realistic to draw that gives you this emotion. That's my name on Facebook. If you want to add me or follow me on there. 